Hi everybody, Stu Harrison here, coming to you from my home studio. Why? Because I wasn't expecting to make this video. We just got the press kit information from Kawhi on two brand new models, the CA-79's successor, the CA-701, and the 99's successor, the CA-901. Uh, and so we are going to talk through the information we just received. I've had about an hour and a half to skim over this uh, and really consider like why I think some of these things uh, are going to be really pretty substantial improvements over the existing model. So let's dive right in. First of all, here's what's staying the same. The action, the key action. This is uh, still going to be the Grand Field 3 action. Uh, so this was the latest version of this. A couple of major improvements over the Grand Field 2. The back cap stands, they got rid of that slip tape. They re-engineered that to be something that was way more durable, which was fantastic. What else stays the same? Not much. Virtually every other major aspect of the piano uh, is getting an upgrade in some way, shape, or form, which is pretty cool. Their new DA converters, the, the digital to audio conversion hardware that's in there uh, to essentially uh, convert the digital audio signal into something you can hear either out of the amplifiers or your headphones has been upgraded. Probably this was out of necessity because Ankyo went out of business. My understanding is that that forced them into an even better set of specs uh, than what they had before crisper highs, better uh, reverberations, like it just no artifacting at all. It's really just a very super clean tone. So I'm looking forward to actually hearing that out of those headphones, which is likely where you're going to hear this a little bit more. Um, as an aside, I've noticed more and more higher end home digital piano users starting to adopt higher end uh, headphones as well to take advantage of some of this headphone tech and, and better uh, DAC tech that's being loaded onto these these digital pianos. So we can look forward to that. Nice, crisp, clean audio out of this thing. Really at approaching kind of a, an audiophile type level, which is very cool. Next one, it looks like we can expect a brand new sample set. They're calling this the SKEX Competition. My understanding, uh, not from the press kit, but actually uh, talking to some Kawhi guys behind the scenes, is this is a completely new sample set that's been recorded on a, on a different SKEX than the original sample set. And this SKEX has really been tweaked, voiced, prepped, as though it were going into a competition. The SKEX, of course, um, has played a part in many of the world's top competitions, including like the Chopin competition, Tchaikovsky competition. Uh, so these are big, big, big showcases, uh, demonstration of the instrument, and the EX uh, gets prepped to the nines for performances like that. And I guess this is the state in which they've captured this one. So I can expect a different sound, probably a different space that this instrument's been captured in, but still through that SKEX rendering engine. So that's gonna be cool. Next is some newly redesigned speaker diffusers that's on both models. So I guess there's going to be like 360 degree speaker diffusers on all of the top facing speakers on the 701 and 901. I think this is particularly a big deal on the 701 because I always felt that the uh, 701's sonic presentation required some tweaking to get rid of a little bit of harshness and woofiness in some places of the instrument. Uh, sometimes you'd get some slapback from the, the wall that was, was just a little bit harsh. And so you really needed to get into the settings and tweak a little bit to get the perfect balanced speaker. I think the new diffusers um, are probably going to help that quite a bit. I'm certainly hoping so. So it'll be really exciting to hear those new speakers on the 701. On the 901, they've actually added new front facing speakers to get even better balance between that like hugely powerful soundboard on the back and obviously what you're getting on the front. And then next up, proof that Kawhi is listening to their user community. There is an anti-glare upgraded color touch LCD control panel, which is gonna be easier to look at, easier to use, and gives you the option after a specified period of time to have it shut off. Not just go gray, but completely shut off so that you get rid of the visual distraction. I never found it to be an issue because it's the same style that's on the NV5, which is actually what we see right over my right shoulder there. But I heard from several users that really hated the fact that even though the image was gone, that you could still see that it was this illuminated uh, kind of light gray square. They found it distracting. Uh, Kawhi obviously heard that feedback, integrated it into the new one, as well as the fact that it was highly reflective before. Now it's got anti-glare, um, and I understand that the actual uh, operating system has been updated a little bit as well. 
We've got new Bluetooth version five. So even lower, you know, latency levels and audio quality is like extremely uh, high, which is awesome because especially on the 901, if you're streaming Bluetooth audio to that, that's a speaker system good enough that you're gonna actually be able to use that, you know, potentially as your stereo in like a living room. Now, the last item that they've put on their list refers to pedal placement. I don't actually know what they're referring to with this. We may have to wait until we actually get a piano in front of us to see. So this could be that they've changed the height of the pedals maybe, or the spacing. I doubt it's the spacing. Um, so I have to assume that maybe the pedal height has been adjusted slightly uh, on these instruments. We're just gonna have to see. It's coming in all of the same colors uh, that the 79 and 99 did. So we're gonna get a polished ebony, then there's gonna be a satin white, satin black, uh, and rosewood. There was this walnut that they were releasing in the Japanese market, which I thought was really gorgeous. I was like, oh, please bring that. Doesn't look like they're bringing it. So it's gonna be the rosewood, black, white, and then the polished ebony in both of those models. Of course, just like the previous versions of the 7999, the 701 and 901 are gonna give users the ability to get in there and really edit things. Uh, they used to call this the virtual technician. I think they changed the name of it right now uh, and also did some app updating. And then finally, we've got some cabinet improvements. From the looks of the photos, these are fairly subtle, but a few tweaks here and there, some uh, you know different beveling and slightly different lines on these instruments. The height of the 701 uh, looks like it's been increased uh, a little bit, so this is gonna have a bit more of like an upright piano feel to it uh, compared to the 901. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this model update announcement. Very excited to see the 701 and 901. I really wanna hear these things. I mean, it sounds like the sound is the big deal uh, about these instruments. Um, begging Kawhi to get us one as quickly as possible so we can get a review and some comparisons out to you as fast as possible as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. If it's the first time that you've seen us here on YouTube, please hit that subscribe and notification bell because we'd love to have you back watching more uh, videos of ours. And while you're here, stick around and check out reviews, other shopping tips. We've got hundreds of videos on the channel at this point. My name is Stu Harrison. This has been Marion Pianos on YouTube. Have yourselves a great evening.